give, you know what? I'm going to give it 25% chance um, for the simple fact, Kevin Durant. But if I'm Kevin Durant, Skip, I'm not warming up. I'm not coming out to the tip. I ain't chancing it. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, that's the freakiest accident it's, that we've ever, that we've seen in ever, a long ever, ever. Okay, so I ain't coming out. I ain't I coming out the locker room. To, hey, okay, K KD, come on out. We gonna jump the ball up. I walk to the center court. They are gonna jump it up. Uh, da, uh, da, jump yep. it up. And we gonna play bad. Yep. Skip, I would go higher, but it's too hard to ignore the injury history of their top three players. Mm. Kevin Durant had an injury history. He's just coming back. This is his debut. He's been there since the trade, since uh, what? We were at the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl's over six weeks ago. Yep. And this is the first time he's playing at home. Okay? Book, he has an injury history with that hamstring. He does. Chris Paul, we know he has an injury history with hamstring, knee, hips, come playoff time. Yep. So I can't go any higher than 25. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm going 25, because the uh, West is so topsy-turvy. There is no dominant. There is no 2017, 2018 Golden State Warriors. No. So everybody can be had. So ain't no, oh, man, that's a foregone conclusion. I ain't even worried about this. This, one, this ain't going five. This, no, most of the series probably going to go six games, maybe even seven. Mm. So with that being said, I'm going to say there's a 25% chance it's just too hard for teams, uh, uh, given his history, given their history, and Skip, we, you know, tradesman season, you got to go back to what? You got to go back to Clyde Drexler when he got traded to Houston. Yep. They ended up winning the title. You got to go back to Mark Aguirre in 89 when they got traded in the middle of the season. They won the title. But he uh, didn't have that much to do with it. Trust <laughs> me, I was in the middle of that one. But go ahead. And I think she, she yep. went from Portland to Detroit. Yep. So we've seen it happen. Yeah. But... It's few and far between. I just gave you three instances, but there have been many more trades that happened during the season that didn't bear fruit with winning a title. But I like KD. I like the, the efficiency in which he can play with. He blends in effortless, but it's just too hard to ignore yep. the injury history of these guys. Okay. All right, my turn. You went to 25%. I'll go to 26%. <laughs> I don't feel nearly as bullish about these Suns as I did that Thursday morning. We were in Phoenix at the Super Bowl when the bombshell dropped. Right. And I opened the show by saying to the people of Phoenix, I'm sure many of them were from Phoenix, I, I think the Suns just won the NBA championship. Unfortunately, that was 19 games ago. Right. Kevin Durant has played three out of those 19. It's shockingly wrong to me. And he came with a sprained knee, so that cost him the first six-ish game, right. I think it was. And then he played three, and he played at a high, immediate level. They won all three. Remember the March 5th game at Dallas? Yes. KD versus Kyrie. And KD and company prevail 130 to 126. KD had 37 in that game, made big late shots. Mm -hmm. Book had 36 in that game. And remember, they were daring CP3 to shoot in the fourth quarter, and he made two threes and a long two. So he scored uh, eight points, crucial points, clutch points. It worked because Kevin Durant is the most blendable superstar yeah. in the history yeah. of yeah, superstars exactly. because he's easy to he play with because he yeah. doesn't really need the he basketball. Doesn't. He doesn't. He's going to be very efficient. He's going to get you 30 on 12 shots. Mm -hmm. He's he's going to be so efficient that you're like, wait, I, I don't remember that much of KD tonight. Wait, he got why, 30? How do you get 30? Why don't, why don't he shoot more? Because he's so efficient, yeah. you wonder why he doesn't shoot the ball more okay. and score more points. But, Skip, when, when you announced that, okay, Phoenix, I think you just won the championship. Yeah. My Paul's going to win. No, you did. You jumped right in. It's all about health. Right. And their injury histories History. would scream at you, no, yeah. no, it's and just, it's more just, no. Skip, it's just too hard to, to, to ignore, given that book, his last, he was dealing with hamstring issue. We saw Chris Paul. In the Paul, finals. In the finals, was. right. Yes. We just saw Chris Paul last year, Skip. He did not look the mm -hmm. same. He looked, as a matter of fact, he looked downright awful against Dallas. He played, he had, a, he picked his spots against the, uh, the Pelicans. Yeah. And he played well. He started out well, then he had a lull, then he played good, well again. But yep. if you go back and look at the Dallas series, Kip, he was bad. He's starting to show his age. Yeah. He, I don't see the quickness. I, I don't see the explosion. But 
Has he been there and done all this? He hadn't won a ring, right. but has he done this? Yes, he has. And what I told you against Dallas, that was a big stage game when Dallas looked like it was Dallas. Right. Like a factor, yeah, like a, yeah. a legitimate yeah. contender. And when they dared Chris to make shots on, it was a big Sunday yeah, he made, national game, he made the shots. He can still do that. He can still orchestrate and quarterback. Okay, so what are they looking at right now? They have a pretty hard closing schedule, which is a good thing for Kevin Durant because you can fire test better right. to try to regain whatever chemistry that you'd built in three games. They got Minnesota at home. They're on fire. They got Denver at home twice. Don't know how much Yoke will play or what, right. whatever, but but maybe. It, it just depends on how threatened they get by Memphis. Memphis. They got a game at Oklahoma City. They got a game at the Lakers. It's the second to last game. Yeah, that's a they, Friday game. That, yeah. That's a, that's a, a, a Friday. That might be a Friday it's, game. It's it Friday. must be a Friday because then yeah, they, finish, Friday. they finish with the Clippers. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a week from right. Friday. Then. In the middle of all this, they got one gimme at home against San Antonio. Maybe KD takes that one off. I don't know. The point is... These games are tough enough that maybe you can reforge your unity on the fly because he's capable of that. But I just don't love it. it you, you know, and I know it's not realistic to come in and I don't even know how many of these remaining seven games he will play. Right. But it, it's not right to play. Let, let's say he plays five of them, eight games total with your new guys, right. with your new group going into the playoffs. It's a recipe. Man, if anybody can do it, he can do it. He can do it. No, I, I got I, you. I ain't, betting, I ain't betting against him because, like you said, Skip, the efficiency in which he plays, and it's not like, Skip, it's not like he has the ball. He has to do everything, and he burns himself out. He's just gliding around the perimeter. Hey, let me get that. Let me get down on the block. Let me get this mid-range game. Let me pop this three. So his game is different than, say, like, if a Russell Westbrook was coming back, mm -hmm. and he's like, boom, bull and China shot, or LeBron, the way he has to play. Yeah. KD doesn't play like that. No. So KD, KD uh, um, games is not going to hurt him, but I think he wants to play because he's like, I've missed en much, uh, enough time. I need to get my rhythm. Yeah. I need to make sure I'm in a, in a, in a great shooting rhythm. Yeah. Guys, hey, you guys, I, mean, I think for the most part, Skip, they have a pretty good idea. They know, KD, you know, you know who I am, right? <laughs> Kevin Durant. They know who he is. Get in the ball. Get out of his way. Okay. Can he get his legs up underneath yeah. him? He he does. Listen, I know LeBron works out hard. He's working out three times a day. Yeah, I get all Wolverine. That. Yeah, mutate. Wolverine. I think Kevin Durant is a silent assassin of a workout right. warrior because I think he works out just as hard as LeBron. I don't have any way to quantify that right. or or give you a number on it, but he he stays in good shape in part because. He got no body. I don't know how he. Did. He just. He's a beanpole. Well, he's always... look, you, you don't stay at the top of your game like he stayed yep. without working. Yeah. Yeah, he's talented. He's ultra talented, but he works at it. He works hard at it. So, again, do I love this? I don't love it anymore. But in this year's West, he is the nuclear X factor. Of all the play, AD, you can have AD, you can have anybody else, and Paul George coming back. No, this is the guy. He will dictate the outcome of Oh, he this, definitely gets shifted. He right? shifts the balance of power. He just does. Because if all of a sudden he snaps his finger and goes right back to where he was, yeah. they're all in trouble. Because you, you got two guys, I mean, two guys that can consistently give you 30 a night. Yep. The big key, okay, what does DA give me? Okay. That it's sort of their AD. Yes. Issue. Yeah. Okay. Skip, all I need, can he give me, can he give me like 14, 15 rebounds? That's really what I need. Yep. Give me like 12 to 14 points. That would work. I mean, if you give him 15 rebounds a night, that that would that's he exactly should, oh, what he they need. He should only seven foot tall. And you got a rim protect. Yeah. Maybe can some rim protect. Yeah, yeah, but that, that should be like, hey. Yeah. Y'all hold, yeah, I'm going to give you a couple of lobs, you know, putbacks, I'm going to rebound, give me a couple of offensive rebounds and some yep. putbacks. But, hey, I'm going to handle the defensive end. Okay. I still can't believe Kevin Durant was shooting a little solo bunny layup <laughs> and his feet went <laughs> out from under. Monday. I just don't even know how that happened. And when, the, the day after that happened, I said, maybe the injury guys just said no to Phoenix. No, maybe the injury guys said, we're going to get it out of the way now so you don't have this. Because you just you know he had, if he does this in the playoffs, it's over for them. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. So maybe yeah. he maybe he got that bad juju out of the way. I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. 
That Phoenix Suns fan base is fired up, guys. Twitter is just lighting up this morning mm -hmm. over hopes that he will indeed make a huge difference for them. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.